Hi. Good evening, everyone. Today, we are going to solve some problems on resistance reduction techniques. So, let us try to take uh, this is the problem given to us. And from the problem, it is very clear that what he is asking is uh, find the equivalent resistance between the points A to B. So, you want to express this the complex electrical network into an, a small resistor which is across A and B. So, let us try to solve this problem. So, these are very important in competitive exams like gate and SSC and all required competitive exams. Let us try to see how to solve this network. So, I am going to solve the blocks step by step. So, you can see here 4 ohm, 12 ohm and 20 ohm are connected in parallel and 2 ohm and 3 ohm are connected in parallel. So, this branch after making a reduction, this branch, this branch and this branch are connected in series and I can say that the current is starting like this and the current is flowing like this and I can say current is constant, these two branches are connected in series. Let us try to reduce the network. So, here I have one branch. So, I want to draw the equivalent followed by the node B, followed by a single resistor across the node C, followed by a one more resistor which across the node D and the input node given to us is A. And we have one more parallel branch to this like this one. So, now the combination of these two we require an answer. Okay. So, how to find out uh, the equivalent uh, of this resistor? So, we have uh, 4 ohm, 12 ohm and 20 ohm resistors are connected in parallel. So, where 1 by R equivalent is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 20. So, use your calculator and find it. Uh, you will get the R equivalent uh, which is nothing but 2.6 ohms. 2.6 ohms. So, this is the value 2.6 ohm. The next one solving this resistors. Here you can see here you have two resistors which are connected in parallel. So, directly if I am writing the formula R equivalent. So, 2 ohm and 3 ohm are connected in parallel. I can write it as a product of resistance divided by sum of resistance is nothing but 6 by 5. So, when you perform it, you are going to get the R equivalent which is nothing but 1.2 ohm. So, this value is 1.2 ohm. So, value of this one is directly 20 ohm. And already I told the equivalent is this and this are connected in series connection. You are going to get as some 22 ohms. Now, I can say that the current starts flowing into this branch, the current flows into the next branch and the current flows into the next branch. These three resistors where the current is constant, I can say that these three resistors are connected in series connection. So, I am drawing an equivalent for this. So, this is one resistor having a one more resistor in parallel to this. So, when you add these three resistors, you are going to have this already same which is nothing but 22 ohms and here when you add 2.6 plus 1.2 plus 20 ohm. So, the resultant of this I am going to get as a 2.6 ohm plus 1.2 ohm plus 20 ohms. If you solve it, I am going to get this value as 23.8 ohms and again you can see here these resistors are once again connected in parallel. So, this is node A, this is node E and I can say current is entering, current is dividing. Okay. So, whenever the current is dividing, I can say these two bad branches are connected in a parallel. So, when you find the parallel of these two, you are going to get the resultant like this. So, this is A and this is B and what is the equivalent of this? So, R equivalent, two are in parallel. So, 23.8 ohm product of 22 divided by 23.8 plus 22 sum of resistors. 
so when you perform it you are going to get uh, the resultant value is uh, 11.4 ohm you can cross check of a ohm okay so this is the procedure held how to find the equivalent resistance uh, between the node a and d by using uh, resistance reduction techniques so now it's very clear these three are in parallel equivalent we are drawing these two are in parallel the equivalent we are drawing and this branch is directly coming here and you can see that these three are again in series connection and you have a parallel branch which is a sum of 16 ohms plus 6 ohm which are in series you get the resultant 22 ohms and just you perform these two are again in parallel you are going to get the resultant answer is 11.4 ohms so this is the numerical we are having let's try to solve this is numerical one let's try to solve the second numerical so the second numerical is given like this so it is having a resistor of 2 ohm and a parallel branch of 3 resistors 1 2 3 and one more resistor is given like this in order to confuse this he is giving like this but no issue this is node y this is node x and again a parallel branch is given to us which is connected here so the values are 2 ohms 1 ohm again 2 ohm and 5 ohm the resultant here is a 6 ohm okay. so this is of 3 ohm so this resultant is 5 ohm so what is the question asked is find the resistance between the terminals or between the nodes r x y we require this equivalent resistance let's try to solve the problem so we are very clear that from the previous example how to solve it these three branches are connected in parallel connection these two are connected in parallel connection so this branch after reduction this branch this branch are connected in series connection and this is parallel with this branch let us try to find out each individual so i am going to redraw the circuit with one resistor with two ohm and next one with single resistor like this and with single resistor like this and i am having an a parallel branch like this so which constitutes again 5 ohm so this is already 2 ohm how to find out this branch resistors so you can see here 1 ohm 2 ohm 5 ohm are connected in parallel connection so then i can write down 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 so from this we are going to get r equivalent after solving by using your calculator 0 0.588 ohms so this value is 0 0.588 ohms so coming to the next one so these two branches are once again connected in parallel connection so directly i am writing the formula r equivalent is equal to product of resistance divided by sum of resistance okay so the resultant is nothing but 6 3s are 18 divided by 9 9 1s are 9 2s are we are going to get this as a sum 2 ohm and you see here we have got all the values as shown in the circuit diagram and here it is required to find out the resistance between the branch x and y so now i am trying to reduce the network further so i have one branch like this connected between x terminal as well as y terminal 
and I have an extra node which is connected like this and you can see here the current starts flowing into 2 ohm the same current flows into 0 0.88 ohms the same current flows across the 2 ohm and what is the resultant of this resistor I can say since the current is a constant flowing into all the branches I can say 2 ohm resistor 0 0.88 and 2 ohm are connected in series connection when they are connected in series the equivalent resistance is sum of resistance so this 2 ohm plus 0 0.588 ohms plus 2 ohm when you perform the addition you are going to get this as a 4.588 ohms in parallel to an 5 ohm resistor again coming to the reduction so you see here the current is entering and the current the current is entering the node and current is dividing let's assume that the current is dividing as i1 and i2 whenever the division of current exists i can say that this branch and this branch are connected in parallel so the conclusion is these two branches are connected in parallel when these two are connected in parallel i'm going to draw the resultant equivalent I'm going to draw the resultant equivalent across the node X as well as Y. So what is this resultant equivalent? These two branches are in parallel. R equivalent is nothing but 4.588 ohms multiplied with 5 ohm divided by 4.5 8 8 plus 5 so when you solve it r equivalent will be getting it as 2.39 ohms where this is nothing but r equivalent the required answer so let's try to review the problem for this node we have drawn 2 ohm these three are in parallel one element we replaced, these two are in uh, parallel, once again we replaced and these three are again in series connection, so that's why we got one element and the bottom element is of 5 ohm and you can see these two branches, the division of current uh, exists, these two branches are in parallel and they are going to get the resultant uh, like this. So this is what our solutions. Let us try to solve, in the previous session you have an analysis of uh, star to delta conversion let us try to see how to reduce the network when you have a star to delta conversion. Let us try to take one more problem. So with this second numerical is completed, let us try to take the third numerical. So here is also asking find the equivalent resistance between the terminals A to C. Okay, so the network is uh, given to us is like this. Okay, so we have one branch, we have one more node here, and one more load. It's nothing but this very very important problem, so which is called a very very important bridge network. So you have three branches like this, and you have the one more branch like this. Let us try to mark as per the given problem. This is node A this is node B, this is node C, this is node D. The values are 4 ohm, 6 ohm, 10 ohm, 8 ohm and 7 ohm. Okay. So this is an bridge network very very important for all competitive exams. Let's try to solve it. You can see here this network is similar to that of an a delta network so we want to convert uh, this delta network into an star network we want to convert this uh, delta so you can see this is a delta network so you need to convert into an star how the star means so the black color what i am drawing is what i require so this is uh, the next one this is the next element so now i am going to get the node between a b as well as d so this remaining uh, delta will be converted into star okay let's try to solve the problem so i am redrawing the network uh, as shown below 
So I have node A, I have node B, I have node D followed with uh, node C. So I want to find out this branch value and I want to find out this branch value and I want to find out this branch value continued with so already this is already given in the problem so these values are known to us 7 ohm 8 ohm so how to find out uh, this black color value or how to convert this delta to star already we discussed you see here this black unknown resistor is connected between the known resistor 4 ohms and 6 ohm so how to find out that value so this is uh, what are the two resistors which are connected in parallel 4 into 6 divided by 4 plus 6 plus 10 ohms so how to find this value and these are connected with this black color value is connected this black resistors are touching 10 ohm and 6 ohm is nothing but the product okay 10 into 6 divided by 10 plus 6 plus so you need to find out this value so you can see here this black color resistor is connected between 10 ohm as well as 4 ohm we are going to get 10 into 4 product divided by sum sum is how much 10 plus 4 plus 6 when you find this value we are going to get this value as uh, the resultant is the uh, sum of this one is 1 point 2 ohm this branch value is 2 ohm this value is after doing calculation 3 ohm so I am redrawing it this is 1.2 ohm this is 2 ohm this is 3 ohm let's try to analyze further so this is how we reduced between A and C so you see here let us try to understand uh, the current is entering to this node and once again the current is dividing let us try to divide the current as uh, some i1 and i2 so the same current flows across 2 ohm the same current uh, flows across uh, 8 ohm you see here there is no division of current and the current which is i2 flowing in this branch and the same current uh, is also flowing in this branch uh, i can say that there is no division of current since there is no division of uh, current I can say these two branches are connected in series connection these two branches are once again connected in series connection so when you draw the resultant equivalent of this we are going to get like this so this is one resistor given to us and so this is one resistor and you are going to get Now we are going to get a one resistor here and in parallel to this we are going to get one equivalent resistor and in parallel to this we are going to get one equivalent resistor connected at this point. So the connecting point is A and the next connecting point is C and these two are joined. So the resultant of this value is you can say I already told these two are connected in series which is nothing but a 10 ohm resistor once again this is a 3 ohm this is 7 ohm this is also a 10 ohm resistor and at the top you have 1.2 ohm and once again you can see this current is entering already and the current is dividing as i1 and i2 i can say that these two branches are once again connected in parallel okay so the resultant i am going to get like this so this is 1.2 ohm the resultant of these two i am going to get one resistor and where this is a point A and where this is node C okay already this is 1.2 and you can see here these two are connected in parallel so what is the equivalent value R equivalent is equal to product of resistors uh, divided by sum of resistors what is the product of resistors 100 divided by 20 two ones are fives so if you have two resistors equal in nature we are going to 
get that value as a 5 ohms. So now again you can see here current is flowing and the current is a constant. The current is not dividing. I can say these two branches are again connected in series connection. Therefore, it results into one resistor across the node A as well as node C. So, when they are connected in series, the formula is sum of resistors which is 5 plus 1.2 ohm. So, which is nothing but this results 6.2 ohm. So, the resultant answer is the resistor between the nodes A and C is 6.2. So, this is our resultant solution. Let us try to recall the steps what I had done. So, the given network is an the red color one is nothing but the given network is an delta connected system and from this delta we convert it into star the bridge is reform like this with the branches 1.2 ohm, 2 ohm and 5 ohm. So how to calculate the center ohm already I told this connected between two resistors 4 into 6 product divided by 4 plus 6 plus 10. So like that we calculated all the three elements we got these three values. Now in this branch when you observe this branch and this branch are connected in series. I got it as 10. This branch and this branch are connected in series. I got one more 10 ohms. So and these two are automatically connected in parallel. Why? Because the division of current exists and the resultant is nothing but a 5 ohm again. So and you have one more 2 ohm at the top. So you can see here, here the there is no division of current. The current is same. When there is no division of current, these two are connected in series. It is nothing but sum of these two resistors. So in general you remember one concept when you have two resistors connected in series connection so no need to apply the formula so i want to find out r equivalent between these two resistors for example the value of this resistor is r the value of this resistor is also r what will be the resultant between the nodes r and b when the given resistors are of equal in amounts okay so i want to find out r equivalent between these two nodes a as well as B. So you see this uh, logic of uh, solving. So what is equivalent? So R equivalent is nothing but these two are connected in which connection? Series connection. So I can write down it as a 2 R is one formula and next one you have a resistor like this and you have a resistor in parallel so this is R, this is also R, but I want to find out R equivalent between these two. I can say these two are connected in series connection, these two are connected in parallel connection. What is R equivalent? So I want to find out the R equivalent between the nodes A and B. So between the nodes A and B. So how to find out R equivalent? So R equivalent is equal to product. What is the product? How many resistors are there here? Two resistors. R into R divided by sum of resistors. R plus R. So R into R is how much? R square divided by 2 R. R, R will get cancelled and the resultant value is R by 2. So here you are going to get R by 2 ohms. Okay. Already we have taken an example. Here you have an 10 ohm resistor and you have an 10 ohm resistor. 10 ohms and 10 ohms. What is the result? And this no need to apply the formula. Okay. So what is R equivalent between these two nodes is just for the formula. If you apply both are of same magnitude and they are connected in parallel. So which is nothing but 10 by 2, which is nothing but 5 ohms. This is acts as some shortcut. Well, you solve some competitive problems. This will act as a shortcut of solving when you have two resistors connected in parallel, the resultant resistance is half of the resistance which is nothing but 5 ohm. So with this we have solved three numericals on resistance reduction. We will follow the next class to understand remaining resistance reduction techniques. Thank you. So if you feel the channel is very useful or the content is very useful, please like, share and subscribe and watch the videos. Thank you. Viewers, tell us your own.